The Airbus C-295 flight test bed 2 took to the skies for the first time from Seville's final assembly line. The aircraft will now embark on a flight campaign to test the new semi-morphing wing, a new inexpensive flight control system, and a SATCOM antenna implanted within the fuselage. The changes include new materials and technology aimed at lowering noise, CO2, and NOx emissions. In a typical search and rescue mission of 400 nautical miles, using these technologies in a future regional multi-mission configuration, up to 43% CO2 and 70% NOx reductions, as well as 45% less noise during takeoff, can be realized. A redesigned high-efficiency semi-morphing wing, new dynamic winglets, and a flat panel SATCOM antenna integrated into the top of the fuselage are the key changes to the aircraft. Furthermore, revolutionary primary control surface flight controls, including as ailerons, flaps, and flap tabs with superior aerodynamics, can be adjusted in flight and contribute to a more efficient high-lift system. The new flight control system uses digital control systems to optimize the wing's aerodynamic form in flight, while a new multifunctional flap with flap tabs in the trailing edge operated by electromechanical actuators has been totally redesigned. However, the benefits extend to the manufacturing process, including the use of innovative materials and manufacturing techniques such as scalmalloy and additive manufacturing, as well as a new assembly approach for the wing's aero structures. The new composite winglet and winglet tab were assembled in a single shot, moving away from the traditional ribs approach and toward a multi-spar integrated torsion box. Finally, for the assembly of flaps and ailerons, jiggless procedures were adopted. As a result, the C-295 FTB-2 brings improvements not only to the purely operational aspects of the aircraft, but helps introduce new improvement to the design and manufacturing process. Please share your thoughts on the C-295 aircraft in the comments area. Thank you.